hello guys so welcome again to my channel in this video i will discuss uh, as per request of one of my audience uh, he has asked why in bending we need to provide reinforcement for countering the tension okay so this is uh, seem to be a very silly question for the uh, already experienced engineer or who have the strong basic but still i feel that uh, this type of silly uh, so called silly need to be cleared uh, at the very early stage okay so this is for the purely for the beginners and in this video i will discuss why in bending uh, we need to provide reinforcement for countering the tension okay so at the very first if you new to this channel please do subscribe because in future you may be benefited and if you are old in that case you know that you need to watch this video till end to understand the topic completely okay so without wasting time let's start so the very first thing that the basis of providing reinforcement is we need to counter the tension which is created due to bending okay so now why this is happened so to understand this first we need to understand the effect of bending what happened when a member uh, simply bend okay let's try to visualize let's say this is a, a fixed end beam okay i will try to draw this uh, beam in this way so that we can discuss the tension and compression okay so when this member is under the action of UTL or any type of load maybe point load or maybe in other type of load okay what happened simply this member deflect clear no argument now if you watch the deflected shape uh, you can see that member get tensed or the member get compressed how well again try to draw the deflected shape okay so initially uh, this was our beam straight beam and this is under the action of different type of loading and after that what happened it has deflected let me change the color so that you can understand so this is the deflected shape it deflect something like this okay here you can see that due to fixity it has not uh, deflected that much the same is applied here also but here at this middle it has deflected in a saggy manner okay so due to this deflected shape you can see uh, that here in this zone and in this zone and also at this zone the member get tensioned correct and on the contrary in this location here and here and also here the member has been squished here you can see that the member has been squished but here the member has been stressed or in tension okay so now it is clear that due to deflection the member get tensed or get compressed okay so now try to visualize the tension and compression or try to visualize the effect of tension as well as the compression okay so this is our beam it has deflected in this way okay this are the support and here uh, in red color i am marking this tension zone this is the tension zone this is the tension zone and this is the tension zone okay and in green color i am marking the compression zone this is the compression zone this is the compression zone and this is the compression zone okay you know that concrete is very much weak in tension but very much good in compression so in those compressed zone we need not to be worried about the compressive force but what about this location 
at this tensile location due to this tension the concrete simply crack like this okay here also the concrete simply crack because concrete is not good in tension so what is the solution the solution is to resist this crack we need to provide some reinforcement why because the reinforcement or the steel they are very good in tension you know that so simply use that provide some reinforcement here and here and here to resist this crack okay so now i think this is clear to you why the reinforcement are provided in bending because bending produce your tension okay the bending produce tension and concrete cracks because it is weak in tension but steel is good in tension so we need to provide reinforcement okay this was a very short video and especially for beginners who have a misconception i think it may be useful to uh, you guys if you like this video please do uh, press the like button because it will definitely help to grow this channel okay thanks for watching